My name is Amy Dallin, and I sell comic books and then do various things on the side. I act and I write silly, nerdy songs, and I play games when possible. I think I got into comics probably, I would have to blame the X-Men cartoon from the early 90s because that was my like appointment television. The internet was kind of invented right when I was getting into comics. Uh, so there were not a lot of other girls to talk about comics with, really. Uh, but luckily, on the internet, the new writer of Marvel's Generation X cannot tell that you are a girl asking him your nerdy questions on the message board on AOL. Uh, so that allowed me to further the obsession, which is how most of us end up with the lifelong comics habit. You can't be like, I'm a comics expert because I get tested enough all the time at the store. Like, I've actually had to start wearing nerdy t-shirts to the store so that people will stop being like, do you actually read the comics? And I'm like, no, I'm lost. How did I get behind this counter? Because seriously, working in a comic book store would be the most boring, imaginable job if you did not actually like comics. Gaming is literally more fun than a lot of other activities you could be doing. Like, because I'm... I'm learning the merits of, of actually exercising or crafting or many other things, which turn out to be very, very fun, but are less obviously fun than playing a board game where you're confronted with a series of different challenges which test either your knowledge or your creativity or your logical ability or your ability to work with teams. Like, they're literally just fun activities. What makes nerd society, in my head, better than a lot of other alternatives is in most of the world, if you're excluding people, that's what you're supposed to do. Like, the cream rises to the top, everybody else go be socially awkward. In nerd society, if you obviously you get mean people and you get exclusion, but if you do that, you're violating the entire spirit of the thing. Gaming is inclusive and it's cerebral. It's something that literally there is a game that you can play with any other group of people on Earth and have a great time. Even if you don't speak the same language, even if you've never met before, there is a game, like even if they're two-year-olds, there's a game out there that you guys are going to have an awesome time playing. Or you can have these incredibly sophisticated games or games of collaborative storytelling or games of like strategy that you leave feeling as if now, should you suddenly need to mastermind like a Mongol invasion, you are prepared. And the kind of, the idea of taking a totally unfamiliar challenge, navigating it to the best of your ability in company with a bunch of other people, and then leaving that with, there's no negative consequences, it's just fun, and you just end up better friends with people. There's no, gaming is nothing but positives.